What is going on guys? Today we have got another objective for a Future Star Academy. And we've got Revelia, I want to say is how you pronounce his name, honestly, I, I don't know. Obviously is in the Serie A as well, which is always nice. We get another extra player in a major league. And to be honest, they really missed out. And I don't think there's anything in moments, but again, we have got a semi-pro or rivals player. They... I don't know. I don't know why Moments is, is kind of just not loved at the moment. But we have, obviously, a few of them in different game modes. We have a Squad Battles and Rivals. So if you haven't done that one, you might be able to do a few more at the same time, which we're going to have a look at. But then we also have, obviously, a Foot Friendly. We have a Champs in, obviously, Gordon. We have an SBC in Nuno. But the only mode that I thought they might have done something, which would have been really good for a Moments kind of campaign to go through we've seen with like alvarez we've seen with like messi benzema are you tired of using players like this i would much rather have teams more like this then i recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs they are cheap fast and reliable but at the checkout make sure you are using code jt11 for a discount on your orders back to the video that they can do some sort of progression with moments as we see with alvarez we have multiple things this would have been a perfect thing for something like this but unfortunately they have left that unused really and to be honest moments is kind of becoming like the uh, events that we've got yes there is a few but it just seems to be reused content but in terms of what we've got to do then the starting one is score four goals using italian players in a squad battles on minimum semi-pro so that does mean you get a token with him as well and the 82 so if you was to do the same match score four goals with an italian and score four goals with a danish you will both be starting the route for obviously uh what is his name linda jesper jesper Lindestrom, and also this guy. Then we've got a Sis4 using an 82. I feel like I could see a pattern here. Play six, assist three goals with crosses using players from the Serie A. Again, with that 84 on your team. Play eight matches, pretty standard for the 86. We then have score and assist using a midfielder from the Serie A in four separate squad battle matches with the A6 in the club. Assist at least two goals per match in five squad battle wins or obviously rivals. I don't know why it's specifically said there, but we've got rivals as well if you wanted. Play 10 matches on semi-pro or rivals and finally play 20 so it is pretty much identical we've got assist six play eight a through balls 12 matches score and assist with bundes you can technically go get both of these done at the same time and it's why i personally don't do any of them until we've got like the last day or two because i knew there was going to be five or at least there was leaks that there was going to be five so it's nice now that we can actually get two done for the price of one obviously with ramsey uh with nuno and all of them you've got to do them in a different game mode so they haven't specific Specifically put more than two in one thing but we have obviously got this one to do in terms of what you need then you need one italian to start with that's a very easy one if you want to do that in squad battles in one match nice and easy if you're not finished or uh, well not started lindestrom you can do both of them at the same time to make it semi worth it if you wanted to go for a silver beast as well i believe we do have that in foundations so you technically can do that as well if you wanted to kind of maximize what you're doing with the next one, assist four goals using the 82. Again, you've got six matches to play regardless. I think that could be potentially in squad battles or rivals, depending on, obviously, what rank you are in rivals. If you're in elite division, you're probably best doing one match at the very minimum in squad battles and then just play in the six, subbing them off as normal. Again, with Lindestrom, you can do the exact same because you've got to do eight. But obviously, when you get to six, you can start the next section. So it kind of always gives you something to do. Assist free crosses uh, using Serie A players. Again, pretty standard. It can be done in one match as well. So that's even better because then you've just got seven matches again to do on rivals, which you can then focus your time on the other objectives as well. Score and assist you to midfielder from the Serie A you could obviously go with obviously uh, this guy himself and then have another midfielder that you put up front in four separate matches so you've got how many matches you've got 10 matches to play four of them need to get a goal and assist if you've got midfielders up front you pass one to the other you're done then you can obviously just finish off the rest assist at least two goals per match in five again that is pretty much rival territory as well as playing 10 what i would potentially do is once you get close to finishing say you've got four matches and you've got three done but you've got one match left potentially just go and do it in squad battles don't risk yourself obviously going for that same with the assist two goals if you've got one or two and you've got rivals or 
squad battles to do. Make it easier for yourself. Don't go too over the top. And then obviously play 20, which... Again, I think because we've got 10 there, then we've got play 8, and then also 6. That is technically already over 20, so I, I, I feel like that is just an extra objective just, just to give you a pack, to be honest. You get an 83 double, 83 plus, 81 double, 80 double, uh, 80 rare, premium gold, gold pack, and a 75, and then with a token. Not bad at all for the objectives. Again... It's just a nice free card if you wanted to. We will be grinding out pretty much most of these to try and get them done. Purely for the fact that if you don't want to use them, then obviously they can be fodder at the very minimum. Plus, you do get some semi-good packs back. There is always a chance in an 83 double you manage to get somebody big, potentially. But he's a 4 star, 4 star, 5 ten. Can be centre mid CDM, obviously pace wise, could do with a bit of an upgrade. Great defending, physicals again could be done. Anchor's probably going to be the best shout for him. The only thing really that I'm, I'm kind of not liking is that composure being 80 is a little bit on the lower side. Other than that, the other cards are more than likely going to be fodder. Again, that is probably the best side of it. You can technically get four or five 86 rated cards that purely are fodder if you've managed to finish the objective. And like always, do not put any of these other cards in until you have gone to the next one. If you get the 86 and you don't do the 10 matches beforehand and don't get the 88 and you put them into an SBC, there is zero way of you being able to get that 88. So make sure you are finishing them all if you are wanting to do that. If not, do what you want. Obviously, if you give in the 86 before you finish, there is no way to get the 88 done. But after that, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.